The federal government will no longer be paying for free school meals for all kids as it has for the past two years. That pandemic era program officially came to an end yesterday. For now, your kids can still eat for free. We visited one of the 67 schools in Denver where they're serving these summer meals and DPS told me they've already served about 5,000 kids this summer. So breakfast and lunch are provided and hopefully they're getting dinner, but if not, they have breakfast here again the next morning. Sometimes in the middle of lunch or after school, you know, sometimes in lunch they let us know we're still hungry and we'd like to do everything we can to make sure they're filled up before they leave. Yeah, the, the free meals will continue into August in several school districts, and you can go to any of those schools, uh, 0 to 18 years old. It's free for everyone. But next school year, when that federal pandemic program comes to an end, this is important. Starting today, families who do meet the income levels for free or reduced lunch can fill out applications through their districts. In Colorado, 37% of kids qualify for free or reduced lunch. To qualify, a family of four must earn no more than $36,000 a year for the free lunch and no more than $51,000 a year for the reduced price lunch. Now, Colorado voters will be asked on the ballot this fall if the state should start funding free meals for all kids, regardless of their family's income. That would not take effect until the 2023-24 school year. Last weekend, President Biden signed the Keep Kids Fed Act, which will provide schools with extra funding to deal with the rising costs of food, but it will not keep the free lunch going for all kids.